Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and start this meeting. We've got a few members that are on their way. Chairman Powell and uh, committee members, uh, I'd like to thank you for the chance to address this body. Um, I've had the bug that's been going around, so I promise not to cough on you, but I, uh, my voice is weak. Uh, my name is Carolyn Meadows. Uh, I'm an NRA, National Rifle Association, member uh, of the Board of Directors. And I do speak on behalf of the NRA. And I would like to communicate to you from them our strong support of House Bill 875, sponsored by uh, Representative Rick Jaspers. Uh, HB 575 is the most comprehensive legislation introduced in recent Georgia history. And House Bill 875 seeks to make beneficial changes to our current law. It's been a long day, and I too believe in brevity, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, so I, I would like to just make four short points. Um, the first one, the components of, the, of this bill, such as opening up more locations of, across the state where law-abiding citizens will have the ability to present, protect themselves against violent attackers are of paramount importance to enhancing <clears throat> the personal safety of Georgia residents. And the second one, equalizing the playing field for individuals residing in public housing and ensuring that their Second Amendment rights are protected regardless of their living situation. And the third, remove the unnecessary burden of fingerprinting a firearms owner upon the renewal of a license that has already been approved and vetted through a federal background check. Protecting the privacy, number four, protecting the privacy of weapons carry license holders by prohibiting the creation of any database of law-abiding citizens' personal information. We've had enough of that. These positive advancements, along with others listed in this bill, make this piece of legislation critical and uh, critically important to protecting and, and advancing the rights of hunters, shooters, and gun owners throughout Georgia. The benefits of this positive legislation are wholeheartedly supported by the National Rifle Association, and I would ask that all of you support this bill, House Bill 875. Thank you, sir, for your time, ladies. Thank you, Ms. Mattis. Would you stand for a question or two? I'd try to. Well, we have Ms. Waits. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Would you not agree that bars are a place where individuals consume excessive amounts of alcohol? I don't freak with them, so I can't, I'm not real sure of that, but um, mm -hmm. I, I, I would trust the fact that um, people that uh, or have armed themselves would in fact be responsible. Would you not agree that guns and alcohol does not mix? Well, I don't know. It, it, the Lord's Supper, they had wine. So, I, um, out of respect for the 32 lives that were lost at Virginia Tech, according to new research, the American Academy of Pediatrics, they've treated over 7,300 children that were hospitalized due to gun wounds. And they've offered a suggestion that our community would be much safer without guns. Would you not agree with that statement? No, I would not. Uh, my, my son is a board certified 
pediatrician and allergies, and I need his help right now <laughs> for this allergy. Um, for what, whatever reasons that that group of people ha have chosen to invade, they, they now, some of them, not my son, but they are asking people, even if they, when they treat their children, do you have a gun in your home? Mm -hmm. That is wrong. That's wrong. Final question, Mr. Chairman. May I have one more? One more, please. Studies have revealed that the frontal lobe of the brain, which controls the higher thoughts for urges, do not fully mature until 25 to 30. Thus, would you not agree that it would be reckless to place guns in the hands of children? Uh, and also, would it be reckless and dangerous on college campuses? Would you support that statement? Uh, well, it has nothing to do with this bill, with all due respect. Uh, tw you have to be 21 to carry a gun, but uh, in the part where 18-year-olds, yes, I would support it. So you and would agree? As far as the frontal lobe goes, I, you know, I have no clue. But you would agree that the brain does not mature until 25 no, to 30? I would, not unless I had more knowledge. So, and to you, dear people, um, I, I would say, you know, my heart bleeds for you, uh, a precious member of my prayer group who was killed by someone, uh, and she, if she could have been armed, I feel like she would have been here. So, thank you. Ms. Mathis, thank you for uh, taking time to come today.